It is my pleasure and my delight to inform you that it is Wednesday, my dudes, and welcome to What the Deck, the show where the stakes couldn't possibly be lower. I brought to you, me and Knox, two people whose intellect couldn't possibly be higher to play some decks, have some fun, and determine whether Peter Jackson actually knew what he was doing retelling the story of Lord of the Rings. We are going to do our own little version of that in a battle of free folk versus Sauron. Uh, before we do that, Knox, how are you? I, I'm doing very well. I don't know if you're desynced on everybody's end, but I'm slightly desynced. Um, but aside from the 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 yeah the technical issues we always run into when it's time to do a show, <laughs> I'm doing fairly well, right? Hey, I, I've that's been, great to hear. I've been enjoying. Uh, I don't know. I, I've. It's good to play magic when you don't play magic all the time. Oh my god! So like, yeah. I'm actually excited about this. Magic is actually like one of the only games that I've ever played in my life that just keeps giving. Anytime I'm like, ah, you know, let me just sit down and play some magic. And there's like new cards that have actually had a lot of thought put into them and you get to have some fun. It's great. You never quit magic. You're just not playing magic right now. True. But we are. Big we're, true. We're going to be playing magic right now. And before we actually hop into the show, I just needed to uh, share like a sort of puzzling thing with you, which is that I've been recently talking about and tweeting that, I'm, that I feel tired. All right, I'm tired. Now, with, it happens. With most other just sensations you have with your body, no one says anything. If you're like, man, I'm hungry. Someone's like, oh, cool. <laughs> what are you going to eat? Or if like, oh, I'm cold. If you're like, oh, did you bring a sweater? Great. But if you say like, I'm tired, it's like, do you have a vitamin deficiency? Perhaps you actually need to change your routine to be getting, there's all these instructions that suddenly start popping out. Like, hey, I wanted to let you know, I actually started modulating my caffeine to fix that. Like no one does this kind of problem solving with like hunger. Like, oh man, I'm hungry. I developed a technique to eat seven times a day so I never have to feel that. There's this need to diagnose, I don't know what it is. Do you guys know why I'm tired? It doesn't matter, I'm just gonna I, I rest think, after I think this. I do. That's it. I think I do though. That's it, this is it. This is the thing. This is great. Oh man. So yes. Do you think? Do you think if we replaced world hunger with world tiredness, we would actually solve the problem? Oh my god, that is that is a pageant I want to watch. I mean, the gas that you would hear on the stage. Like, I want to cure world tiredness. <gasps> actually, actually, oh my god, I didn't realize it was so global until you framed it just <laughs> like that. Wow, Knox, congratulations. You are. Mr. What the Deck, the annual Enjoy Your Crown. Let's talk about what we're going to be doing today. We asked you to submit to us decks under the following constraints. Give us a deck that has the free folk, the heroes of Lord of the Rings, or a deck that is centered around the evil denizens of Middle-earth, most notably Sauron. Build us some decks so that way we can actually act out some MTG-inspired decks. Excuse me, Lord of the Rings inspired MTG battles. And what we do on the show is we take a sampling of the decks that were submitted to us. We're going to play a five, four fun match, after which we're going to identify our three favorite decks and play a very serious three match series. Nox, can you give us a teaser for what we're, excuse me, what we're going to see from you? So obviously, like one of the things that I, I didn't know about going into this was yeah. exactly what the themes were for, uh, you know, Sauron, exactly what, what cards are there that support the theme and orcs are a recurring theme yeah uh, there's a lot of quirky combos the one ring as you might imagine comes in Damn. um but i would like it to be known that i think it's unfair that your folk are called the free folk and my folk are not like i think my folk are free plenty <laughs> free we're a do different kind that... of free folk right like didn't you hear yes. about the deal that what's his face gave was saruman gave to the uruk high like i mean correct that's... I mean, that was just the free market in action, right? Perfect. <laughs> Robin Hood says the expensive folk. That seems good. Uh, yeah, so in a moment, we're going to be showcasing... Oh, I, let me, I forgot to tell you about my decks. My deck list, for some reason, has a lot of the Hobbit? least heroic-looking stuff I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, there, some of the stuff is so dumb. There's also a lot of, like, built-in ways to sacrifice... The free folk, which I actually do feel like is like in a way, you know, I mean, at least for Sean Bean, that's like a, like How a very. How free sort of, are you, really? How free are you? 
in these decks, you are my prisoner. That is for sure. <laughs> um, but I will say the scope of creativity and self-sacrifice that exists in order to win in a way that is not a traditional win condition is magnifique. Some of the most goofy ideas I've seen yet on what the deck are going to be happening soon. So before we hop into this oh-so-serious uh, sampling, we want to give a shout-out to our sponsor, NordVPN and Day9. Oh, are you ready to share that information? Day9 says yes. Nox, I'll see you in a sec. Go. The word privacy is thrown around a lot these days, but functionally, what does it mean? I mean, there's a lot of companies that aspire to protect your online privacy, but in practice, they're just complying with the minimum legal requirement of GDPR, or sometimes not even that. Today's episode is sponsored by NordVPN, which is a service that I recommend to encrypt your connection to the internet and hide your real IP address. And since VPNs are so critical to maintaining your privacy online, it's important that you know what privacy means to them. To NordVPN, privacy means a strict no-log policy at all of any of your online activity. And this policy, known as the no-log policy, unsurprisingly, is verified by independent third-party investigators. So as an example, in 2018 and 20, NordVPN passed an audit from PricewaterhouseCooper of this policy, and NordVPN passed a similar one in 2022 from Deloitte. So if you're interested in a service that has a no-log policy, diskless servers, a bug bounty program, you can feel free to go to nordvpn.com slash day9tv for a massive discount on a two-year plan and four extra months. If you just want a sample, there is a 30-day money-back guarantee and 24-7 customer support. That's it. I'm going to go back to what the deck. It's me. First deck we're going to look at is from Brodeo. Clown Brodeo, one of the regulars here. Brodeo's list is shockingly straightforward. It actually just literally makes sense. The way it's going to work is going to be centered around, well, as you know, the second most important character after Sauron, Rosie Cotton of South Lane. Look at the bottom text. Whenever you create a token, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control other than Rosie. We have a lot of token generators that then come in the form of cards like Rabble Rousing that makes lots of 1-1s. We also have Anointed Procession to make yet more 1-1s. We have Faramir that occasionally makes 1-1s but also lets you draw a card. We also have things like, um, there was another one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We have Boromir that we can sack to give everything indestructible, protecting our board, allowing us to again make yet more 1-1s and allow us to swing safely. Even have Denethor at the beginning of your end step, if creature died, make a 1-1 one, one, and you can sack stuff to ping in game. It's so clear what this list is doing. And I like this because, you know, there's kind of a theme in Lord of the Rings about like, you know, more and more and more and more people joining together to fight the forces of darkness. Uh, yeah, I don't think, is Horn of Gondor in this list? I don't even take a look. I've lost to that card too many times in draft. But yeah, I like the theme of more and more and more and more people joining together to overwhelm Nox with one once. Nox, I am ready to fight you, baby. I just All want right, to point out go. that I I have a I have a fitting avatar and you do not. I've even changed my sleeves. Oh my god, are you serious? I really feel like Karn is one of the free folk, said Sean, feeling lazy today. <laughs> wow, you actually went all through that. I mean, the, the amount of cosplay we're seeing out of you is just spectacular. It's good, isn't it? Now, what better way to start off this episode of What the Deck than with a Frodo on turn one? True. Huh? I mean, that's so good. True. True. Hmm. If hmm. Frodo Sauron's Bane is a citizen, it becomes a halfling scout. So he just renounces citizenship and becomes a scout. Yeah. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and just make him a little, a little half league scout. There we go. There we go. So that gains you life too. I know, I know, and that already makes Extremely me the powerful. healthiest person here. I don't need your medical diagnosis as to why. Nox has 18 life. A flump. And a jellyfish. And huh. a jellyfish. All right. Whenever flump is dealt damage, you and target opponent each draw a card. Well, I know what I'm going to be doing. Dealing damage to it? You know it, baby. Alright, we got well, death. If a creature died. Oh. Yeah. Does that have. It doesn't have death touch. No. That's Indeed fine. It doesn't. I will tolerate it. Oh, 
man, this is a long way to get Frodo all leveled up. Self savior. Sure. It takes a while. It takes a while. So you have to deal damage to me to get the temptation. Oh my god! Right. What? I can't. What's going on? I have a removal spell. You do, and you're in a what the deck episode. I don't like. I'm literally so surprised to see like a removal spell here. I mean, is it? Does like does NordVPN cancel the sponsorship if I cast this? <laughs> like, what happens? Like, all right. Well, look, we're just gonna keep playing the many legends. All right, we got At the beginning of the end step. If a creature died under your control, you draw a card. That's a lot of card draw. Mm -hmm. Whenever the ring tempts you, if you chose a creature other than Fermi. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, that's cool, actually. You get yeah. to make other people ring bearers, and he just summons a bigger army. Oh, and I'm coming in. Frodo and Denethor swinging right on in. Wow, I didn't cast that removal spell, and it's a good thing that I called that out with yourself as savior on the battlefield. This is good. This is good. Wow. Ooh, look at this. Wow. Hell yeah. Indestructible. And now we each yeah. draw a card. Oh, this is so thrilling. It's cool, right? You like drawing? I do. It feels nice. Alright. I already have I already have an incredible play. Ring sight? Oh, come on. Look for uh, the shares of color with a legendary creature you can I'm not sure that. So I have to pick a legendary boy. First. I have to make somebody legendary. So that. So you're, you're now going to find a legendary white card. And what is it going to be? Saruman, Saruman. of many colors. Who shares a color with oh my Slump because he's many colors. All right. Well, it's a good thing. I can't I have a block spell, huh? I don't know. Does it? Does this even do anything? What does the ring bearing do? Like I know that it draws things sometimes, but dude, it's well, not I mean, clear. You can hover over it. It's that one that's right under, or on the left side of the screen. You can see the emblem there. Oh, whenever you attack, draw, and discard becomes mm -hmm. blocked, you sack it, deal damage to you. Well, no, but it has to deal damage to you. It does zero. So how I useful know. is that? Feels great. I'm really and glad it has you defender, that which is like it. It has defender anyway. <laughs> this has to now, be the least useful ring bear. Now watch this. I'm gonna play Frodo. We're what is going on here? Frodo. Okay. Also oh, does that con is that considered death? Oh I yeah, that is oh. that is as death as death can be. Now, if I swing out here, I think we're safe. I think we're safe to just make a swing. I mean, look at this. Look at how linear our deck is. Look at how linear it is. It's it's fantastic. It is it, it is brilliant. I mean, I'm literally just, like, I'm just playing a deck. I just built a deck, and I'm attacking you with it. And you're, like, flumping in order to draw both of us cards and shit. This, this is fantastic. This is terrific. Yeah, we, we, we are operating on a... We are not the same. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Creature died because it's legendary. Summon a 1-1. One, one, draw a card. Yo. That is so smart. That is smart. Yo. That is big brain. This brain feels something amazing, man. I mean, this is the craziest thing to me of all is that this entire deck is built around Rosie, and I haven't even drawn Rosie yet. You haven't seen Rosie yet? Mm hmm. Yeah, no, I feel, uh, I feel that. I should have taken a different ring bear in hindsight. Here's the thing I, 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 think, it's, yes. I think it's important that you receive an additional turn. I'm gonna play Rabble Oh Rousing. no, it's fine. Take your time, Sean. Yeah. Take your time or go quick. It's really. Oh, I'm definitely. in no rush to. What is that? Whenever oh. you attack with one or more, you create that many? What? So that's oh, yeah. five tokens. Yeah. I. I oh I wow, that's I a want lot to cast of. It, but here's what I'm actually gonna do. I'm gonna play Frodo again, and I'm gonna sack. What? So that way, at the end of the turn. I'm not oh, going to attack because yeah. I'm, I am a kind god. I'm a kind god. Maybe the attack would have been good for oh, me. Oh, the attack would have been what? Perhaps. <laughs> Maybe. Would have drawn two. Dude, if you have a sweeper here, I'm going to throw up. 
Because Saruman, Saruman says whenever you cast the second spell each turn, each opponent mills two cards. One or more cards are milled this way. Exile target enchantment. Instant or sorcery spell with equal level of value. Then that spell from an opponent's graveyard, copy the exiled card. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. Man, this is this is a, a lot. Oh my god, we have Sauron. Yeah, the Necromancer. Oh my god, Sauron is just is just a 4-4. Look at this. Yeah, with menace. He's very oh. menacing. Indeed. Are you not menaced? Some mean aces right there. So, am I? Do, do I have permission to attack you here? I mean, I, I can't yeah, yeah, you're, to you're the degree fine. to which I feel an extraordinary amount of guilt. Mm -hmm. for having done this, but uh, I, honestly, attack away. Playing this game to create lots of one ones is my fantasy. Now, what I'm curious is what's in rabble rousing. Uh, it's an anointed procession box. <laughs> oh my God! Now it does it does fall in that order. It does fall in that order. All right, I'm drawing a card. I'm drawing a card. All right, cool. Now watch this. Exile. Target creature you control, then return it. Then the ring tempts me. This is the kind of saving that I am here for. Okay, so this resolves, and then it comes back, and it gives a ring thing to a guy. And of course, it's got to be Frodo. Oh, and it makes a token. It makes two tokens, actually. Dude, so I mean, you tempted is... Frodo. Yeah. A lot of Frodo-ish temptations happening. See, this is this is why this is the first deck that we're running out. Because, like, look at this. This is just exactly how the movie worked. People doing shit everywhere. Remember Frodo? Oh, I forgot about him because there's a bunch of stuff happening by a wall. Oh, wait. Frodo's back again. We're getting rings. We're getting more 1-1s. One that is great. All right, I mean, like, the thematics are just perfect right now, with, of course, the exception of these flumps. <laughs> no, no, they're totally in the game. I, like, he put them in the story at page 76 of book two. He <laughs> talked about flumps. <laughs> no, I was I was talking to him uh, the other day. We, actually, we were texting, um, and JR, that's what he lets me call him. He told me that flump was, like, one of his favorite parts of the story he created. That's what he said. Then I asked if he wanted to hang out, he just left me on red. <laughs> Ran Domino says they're in the Silmarillion. Do I, I can't tell do if I, you're full I? of shit or not, because exactly five people have read the Silmarillion. I've read it. But I know, you, you uh... and the other four. <laughs> <laughs> the no, but I mean the question is like, do I remember it to the point where I could like talk about it? Um Okay. And Sergeant says, I, I read it. Trey Sol said, I also did. Ninja Gaz says, I'm one of them. Uh, and there's literally <laughs> one more. <laughs> That's it. I think I'm just supposed to Die. do nothing here. I, I'm not an expert in mathematics, mm. which is an issue here. But I think I'm supposed to pass. We'll see. I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to... On end step, use a removal spell. Ow. Do I like that? No. Will I do anything about it? Possibly. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I, I will that's it. Sauron. That's... Yeah, he he must perish. You know, and I now you get double treasures, too. It feels great. And, you know, I, I literally just thought to myself, well, of course the eagles wouldn't have saved Gandalf. Like, I'm totally <laughs> cool with that. Actually, Wait, the why are Gandalf. you? I'm totally cool with the idea that the eagles couldn't have, like, brought Frodo into Mordor with the ring. Like, I totally buy that. But the fact that Frodo didn't just use deadly derision on Sauron feels like a real plot hole. You know what I mean? That's I really, true. I really stumbled yeah. my way through this joke, Knox, and I'd like when to... You, when you work at it backwards, it's true that this doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's great news. Get an anointed procession down here. That's another anointed procession. <laughs> um, so, I, I, I'm a little self-conscious asking this, but if, what, if I do this, does this just end the game? It depends... Because I'm not sure. All right. 
Oh my god, it's Orcish Bowmasters. Alright. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Flump makes both people draw a card. It shoots itself. It's not optional. Yeah, it's not yeah. optional. Yeah, and then this shoots. Flump. You know, I really I really liked how in the Silmarillion, all peace on the lands was kept because <laughs> Flumps were in Middle-earth. I, I thought that was a really beautiful line. It's true. All right. Now what I'll do is I'll take this one because the yes button is underneath that flump on the UI. Now, it should be less clicks. Now I want to I want to stress something. We we do have deadly derisions in the list. That's true, and you have four mana. Yeah, and you've already sacrificed the selfless savior, and I waited until after you cast the selfless savior to figure out what to do there. That's true. All the ring. All right. God, man. <laughs> you know, I I thought that that was a really sort of weird moment in uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy when, the when, <laughs> when you know Frodo bravely led the battle, uh, inspiring all the other legends and acquiring all the people all throughout Middle Earth. At which point, a flump just gaddled everyone to death. Like I re I thought that was a kind of an odd choice. No, 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 no. <laughs> A flump <laughs> called his orcish buddy to gaddle him to death. <laughs> it's just like, dude. So that Frodo dude, please, would run away. Please continuously blast me until all these people are dead. <laughs> just. God. All right, hold on. I love the visual on that, though. <laughs> Bro. Bro. I just Bro. need this in my life. All right, well. Uh. All right, we still haven't drawn a deadly derision, and like, I'm literally, I'm not alt entering to just pass through. I'm like waiting for the moment. Ah! Uh, do you ever play Here's Might Magic too? Yes. Do you, do you remember when the vampires attack and they go blah? No, I don't remember that, but I can you do that again? Uh, well, I don't need to do it because the orcus boat, orcus boatmasters go blah. Just listen. See? Blah. <laughs> he does do that. Yeah. Fair point. Blah. Blah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Still haven't drawn that. Hold on, my cat wants to join us. Let me just go ahead and bring her up to watch watch this flump get absolutely gaddled, man. Claim the precious famous. I'd like to point out removal. that uh, on the art of flump is like a Lord of the Rings goblin. Blah. Somehow. Why did they put a Lord of the Rings orc on the flump art? Did they know this was coming? Um, it's a D&D &D set or oh, that's a fair point. They're all indistinguishable. They all they all took from the same source. And then they argue over IP and stuff. All right, sure. Hello. All right, there's my purring cat. You woke me up at 5 a.m. because you wanted food. We're almost done. Is there literally one deadly derision in this entire stupid deck? That would be funny that you used it on a Sauron. He was there to bait you because the true Lord of Darkness oh, was plumb fall along. <laughs> <laughs> it was plumb. Dude, where where is this deadly derision? Yes, yes, tell me, Sheriff. Yep. I mean, we're dying. Do you want to target? I like how it's asking me constantly. Do you want to target Flump with this ability? Like, yeah, I do. I, I keep trying yeah, to do I'm, that. I mean, like, literally half this game has been me hitting space bar patiently, waiting for the deadly derision. <laughs> so I didn't turn on my untapped extension. I'll do it for next game. But if I had the untapped extension, I could ask some of you, hey, does this deck have a second deadly derision? That's a fair point. It would actually help pilot decks. Well, my you cat, seem to love that cat. My cat is demanding a car wash. 
Dude, this guy is so cute. All right, still haven't drawn it. Oh, dude, get absolutely thunderously fucked, my dude. Yeah. Wait, okay. You killed the army. Oh my god, I fucking so embarrassed. <laughs> oh shit, alright. God, I hope there's another deadly derision in here. I really do. I'm sorry, you know what? I, I would blame my cat for being really distracting. I can't believe it. I'm right. honestly fucked. I that's can't. A, that's the Do, perfect thing. Uh, can you believe that that's what I said? Get thunderously <laughs> fucked and I just shoot the wrong thing. Oh shit, there were two deadly derisions and that's it. This fucking sucks, man. I, lo I love how calmly you were just like, all right, it resolves. And I was like, what? And then, you know, the next thing I heard, the very first thing that I heard after the combo appeared to keep going and something was Bruh. wrong was blah. <laughs> I just, come here, Sheriff. Uh, come here. It's okay. It's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. Yep. Yep. Tell me your secrets. All right. She, she whispered punt into my ear. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. No, she, you're banned from chat, sweetheart. Well, I mean, I think that was just an iconic first match, right? We have the battle in which, um, you know, Frodo just, it turned out, couldn't quite deal with that self-blasting jellyfish. And, uh, of course, died. <laughs> the Path of Exile build. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know that someone's playing a right. self-blasting jellyfish build. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the patch notes. Chris Wilson's just like, we're excited to announce that we have buffed the self-blasting jellyfish build. And everyone's just like, I hate these developers. They never care about the game. Um, <laughs> so so that was a good that was a good round one. I did get to snuggle my cat, which is a very important part of the day. Um, but we still have more battling to do. So I have more battling to go. And I'm I'm pretty excited because I want to see what's coming up next. Oh. Knox. I have a yeah. stupid, stupid list. Might I okay, intro I'll... it and see you in a minute? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right, BRB. This is centered around one irrelevant legend from the free folk, man. Galadriel of Lothlorien. Now, one of my favorite things to do when it comes to the pronunciation of anything in the Lord of the Rings... Um, stories themselves or you know the hobbit or any any anything that tolkien's right, written is to just pronounce things in a stupid way uh like galadriel is probably how i'm going to want to pronounce this for the rest of my life honestly and this is a technique that i want to just gift to you in case you are talking to someone who's a lord of the rings fan so galadriel says whenever the ring tempts you choose a creature other than galadriel uh if you choose a creature other than galadriel uh as law you know what the you, you know what it says Second paragraph, whenever you scry, you may reveal the top card of your library. If a land card is revealed this way, put it onto the battlefield, tapped. Ah, scry, reveal land, onto the battlefield it goes. We now have the two mana sigiled starfish. <laughs> yeah, listen, if you could see my legs, I would look exactly like the sigiled starfish right now, man. You can tap the scry one. Uh. So what you're going to do is <laughs> you're going to be using Galadriel, and sigiled starfish and other things like elven farsight. You know, got some other scry garbage over here. We have other cards that can scry so that Merit Lage of Slumber can be procced. Whenever Merit Lage of Slumber or another snow permanent enters a battlefield under your control, scry one. At the end of your upkeep, if you control ten or more snow permanents, which includes snow lands, sack Merit Lage of Slumber and create Merit Lage, a 2020 legendary black avatar creature token flying and indestructible. Woo! Because Merit Lage, one of the most famous characters in Lord of the Rings. Oh. Let me hit a button. Untapped. Accept. Here we go. Select deck. This becomes Mitch Wise's Scry Smasher. There it is. The extension's getting set up. All right. The Orc versus Karn, the Free Folk. Yeah, it's one of my favorite stories that Tolkien himself wrote. All right. All right, give me one sec, Nox. I gotta go. Make sure that I can't hear you over the sound of the mute button. 
Oh, that's a great point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so there, there recently was a change in the. Um... Oh. Let me just make sure. Untap, activate. Set as overlay one. Set as overlay one. Yeah, there, there's this funny little glitcheroni root that Magic the Gathering has introduced, which is where if you are have it selected, all your buttons that you press are captured by it and denied other things. So, for instance, when I press my unmute button, it just doesn't do anything. It doesn't work. Yeah, it just it locks your input to the window. Yeah, that's a much better way of saying what I was intending to say. But the fact of the matter is, I'm tired. I'm tired. So Have my you brain looked is only at your blood working. blood glucose? Sean, are you perhaps someone who eats too many carrots? Have you considered eating less carrots? <laughs> I used to be tired, but then I had a stern conversation with carrots. And now I feel much better. Dude, get ready. This is... Okay. It's a starfish deck. It's the starfish I'm deck. I'm so confused. And for any of you that are curious... Oh, someone's trying a little hard. Congratulations on your modern Pro Tour win. Um, That's what I was I was saying while reading the card, is this feels like a competitive thing. Like, isn't this just a completely busted card? Like, I've, I, this is the first good. time I properly read it, and it just feels like... It must be eating up every format it exists in. Like, it's just... It's, it's a very good card, and I kind of like that, because if the one ring was like a two-mana artifact that you just sacks to redraw a card... <laughs> if they have to ban it, it's a good thing. Like, I yeah. think there's there's something beautiful about it. Because in Commander, yeah. whatever, but everywhere else, yeah, sure, like, it's fine. It's It wasn't meant for mere mortals. Okay. No, by I, the way, I, I, um, I'll... untapped extension gamers, you can F5 my stream, and it should be functioning. And if it's not, then that's on you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play one of my favorite characters, Galadriel, who just says whenever you scry, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land, put it onto the battlefield tapped. You know it. This is super cool. Yeah. This is my new favorite deck. Repeated land ramping into pants. It's a super cool concept. I like it. So if I activate this, do I draw two? I do. Okay, no, this is this is fair. This is very fair. Oh. I can't see this going wrong at all. Oh, so How good. is this? So I'm going to draw three next turn. Yeah. Wow. But, but you're taking three okay. damage turn. Yeah, but I'll bolt myself for three cards. I'll do that occasionally. Hmm. I mean, I, I shock myself for one mana just to play my cards. All right, we have an iceberg. Another... Cancrex. You may reveal the top. If it's a creature card, draw a card. Whenever the ring tempts you, if you chose a creature, whenever you scry, you may reveal. So you're going to scry, which means you can... Make sure that this is going to be oh, a yeah. hit. Okay, Bang. that's oh, that's why the starfish is doing. The, <gasps> mill, mill. And it's just snowlands because you want to starfish me. To, this is so clever. <laughs> yeah, fuck In yeah. such a stupid, beautiful way. This is. I know, I know. And, and here's the thing: if you literally, I like it. If a you starfish just, and a crab. If you kill Galadriel, I oh. just lose <laughs> the deck just stops it just goes all right that's it like we, right. we had nothing else i'm gonna do a full one rings worth of damage to you perfect inexorable tide Whenever you cast a spell, proliferate, so you can, like, deal even more damage to yourself. Oh, that's slick. Discard a card, it said. How many do you want me to discard, video game? Oh, just, it said one. Yeah. Oh, it's just one. Just I, I was discarding card. everything. Okay, yes, yeah, sorry. I was just <laughs> discarding five things. The game's like, discard one, idiot. And I'm just like, what do you mean? I'm discarding one. What does that mean? One. I don't know. Like, do you want me to, like, just draw forever? Like, this that seems like a little so excessive. This is so cool. Frost Augur's like, I don't scry, but I kind of do. Oh. Frost Augur is just very happy about the snow permanence. All this right. is the coolest thing. Dude, you are going to be solo on cards, and you're going to have so much burden on your shoulders. 
Also, this deck has 30 lands in it, so this is like... <laughs> That's why you keep hitting. That that explains a lot of things. I mean, it did not take long to intro this deck, let me tell you that much. Alright. Uh, Alright, I'm going in. I mean, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty low on steam here. Like, in my hand, I have another Galadriel. <laughs> Do you remember when the free folk saw that there was the One Ring giving people too much power, so they just tilted their? Uh oh. Okay, I see. You do. Okay, wait. So does this make sure that you can die next turn? Dude, literally the story of today, I, I can tell. Oh, the what story of today is going to be that I feel like I'm doing good stuff. I'm building board advantage. I'm starting to win. I'm feeling really awesome. And then you just... Do a stupid thing. Do something infinite, and there it is. It's just very hard because there's a lot of clicks. Oh, big yawns. It, it big makes yawns. things difficult. I mean, it, it feels difficult. I have to click so much. You, but you're getting better at it. I can see that your APM is smoothing out. Like, it really looks like you've been cross-training. <laughs> thing is, like, I'm afraid of, of messing it up, you know? Like, now, I think I might have done that. Uh, it does look like you're making a mistake. I, I feel like I've messed up. See, I, 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 I fucked up, like, one of those little moments. Oh, yeah. And now I... Oh, wait, I don't die when I draw with this, do I? No. I just draw a lot. You just draw 12, yeah. Okay, that's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought I died when I tried to draw, but I don't. So I yeah, could no. just be drawing my entire deck then. Almost. Yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly how you win. Unless, like, you draw another Mind Stone and then you can untap two per turn. Yeah, that's sort of where my, my mind was going. For now, I feel like this is my only option just because of the position I've put myself in. So are you going like, to I missed to 30 a, I missed and draw a, the entire deck? I missed a, a 30. I mean, I have you met Thassa's Oracle? I don't play it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Thassa's, Thassa's would be hard to <laughs> cast, though. Thassa's would be hard to cast. True, even with Mindstone. So, I mean... But this is... So for any watching, the net effect is every single turn... Nox can cycle this. Um, play the Ornithopter, return to the hand, play it again. Every time it's played, the only thing that's changing is that one more counter is landing on the one ring right now. 19 yeah, that's the, the that's the only thing that seems to matter or be happening. Okay, so logically, I should be pretty safe to do this. Yeah, so I need to rows. parse this hand. Yeah, no, go ahead. Like I need to take a minute. I need to know what is even going on. Okay. All right. All right. So we get some mind stones. Does that even help me? Well, now you can generate two mana, then spend Wait, one. Wait, it didn't tap the one I wanted. It made a mistake. <laughs> I think the video game made a mistake. I'm pretty sure a video game made a mistake, Sean. Alright. I should just mill myself to death out of shame. You make a mistake, this is great. No, this is literally exactly thematic. Oh my god, what the if arrogance. I do that? The arrogance of untap, the man. Can who has I the untap one my lands? This does not let me untap my lands. So you need you need some sort of artifact that can produce blue mana. No, I I, I have one blue mana. That's not what I wanted. I needed not blue mana. Oh, what color mana do you need? Red. You need an artifact that lets you make red mana. Yeah. I need a thing that makes me make red, and I can't find it. It's nowhere there? It doesn't seem to be. Well, that's great news. The arrogance of those who hunt 
for the one I ring. I was supposed, like, I, yeah, this is exactly what's going on. So what I'll do is I'll play this just because. I mean, I can make blue, it seems like. That doesn't seem to be an issue. But the game forgot to give me a card that gives me red. Why not include, like, one chromatic lantern, you know? Oh, my God. What? You could just reshuffle everything. Oh my god. Yeah, but it, it, it does it solve my mana problems? Well, here's the thing. It's not clear that I'll be able to mill you out this turn. Because I need to get two snow permanents. So you might, you might actually get another turn. You know, when you put it that way. I mean, I might just die on the one ring next upkeep, though. Like, that could... Do you have I an additional one ring? <laughs> Would it sacrifice it? Yes. But then I have to rebuild all the counters. Yeah, that's just... I'm not an expert. Work. That seems like a very tedious way to do that. Oh, maybe this will speed things up. That's good. All right. Does so it, it does speed you... things up. I mean... Why is the bone so... Okay, I guess it's just a random spell. Yeah, it's just a zero mana. Cast spell, floor play, cast spell, floor play. Uh, but, I just really... What's up? What were you going to say? Yeah, what? but like, but like, what do you... What, what do I want to do? Yeah. I'm thinking really hard if I have a source of red mana. Hmm. And I, I think I could probably block all of your guys. Re like, if I can unmill myself. I think this is yeah, feasible, how do you, how right? How get... Beginning of each upkeep, I see. How does this work? It's not the upkeep, I get this? Okay. So I'll just put, I'll begin, I'll do the proliferation trick to start. Um. Wait, how'd you get the hour counter to... on there? You pay three and it does it. Oh, right. Yeah, because this is put those? an hour counter on midnight clock, and then at the beginning of each upkeep, put an hour counter on midnight clock. That's the only text that I've read. So if I do this, this gives me counters. Faster. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Sean, Sean is like, am I? Can I solve? Is this what? What are you doing, Nox? This is good. Can shit. I play the video game? I'm just no, trying to see I if I can. I am playing the video game. Are you kidding me? I'm tummy timing my little cat. Yeah, you're playing the better game then. Yes. I'm playing the worst of the two. I, I think probably I've got the the worst end of this deal. I could Dude, use cat. Galadriel to put a red land in. When your turns are taking this long. It is spa day for my cat. Like, let me tell you, she's getting like both hands, giving the rub. I'm, so, I'm like literally all supporting of this because her I missed half the mindstone. If I hadn't <laughs> yeah. missed out the first mindstone, <laughs> you'd have red mana. Would be going well. Oh my god! All right. So I now you. have 37 counters. <laughs> okay, so you need to find another one ring, so that way you don't die. Yeah, but if I draw 37, I die. <laughs> But, oh, that but, doesn't. Wait, but, but oh, do you not have the one ring in hand? Well, now I have it, but I I didn't want it to be this way. Oh, nice. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, there you go. So now I, I can't we'll do have damage to start. To not for now. Hopefully, I'll do this just because to next turn it will be easier. Okay, and now okay. I will end turn. All right. Well, this was a complete waste of time. We could have, I could have, this turn, we're back where we started, Sean. Hold on. We hold have on. no counters on the ring. All right, hold on. Let me activate this. Okay. Can't you double click something to auto tab the artifacts? Maybe, but magic arena, I don't know. The shortcuts were not good when I last played it. Tap all, float all, double tap Q. Oh my God, Sean, that works. What? I could I QQ. If you QQ, if you QQ hard enough, it gives you all the mana. Oh my god. It's true. I didn't know that. Now I know. The more you What is this? Artifacts and creatures target opponent controls don't untap during that player's next untap step. Return 3 snow lands you control to their owner's hand. Return this to the hand. Well, this That is a Fuck, card. Man, I'm going to lose. To what? Wait, why did it mill me? You targeted yourself. I didn't try to do that. That's this is malarkey. I saw an arrow this at your face. This is absolute malarkey. 
<laughs> That's what I saw. I can't believe that you actually like did, did nothing. It. Well, no, like you actually you're. I'm back. Oh, in... I see. I thought that the one ring met, prevented damage. It doesn't. It's protection from everything. So this just says True. you may have target player mill two cards, and I'm the only other target player. That explains a lot. So if I do this, well, bup, bup, don't you dare, you stupid video game. <laughs> you know what I'll do? I'll just keep my red mana for the very end. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now this time mm -hmm. we'll do it. This will this will be a thing. We can do now. We can do this. Mm -hmm. Now we can do it. Right. How do I? How can I? Dude, your deck is so much more complicated than mine. So than yours, much you more complicated. <laughs> I mean, it's not even that difficult. It's just a very silly deck. For super silly people. And I'm still not finished trying to get this stupid thing going. I need to get the One Ring to do more. All right. So 12 cards. I can draw that. Right. Sean is like, okay, I guess we're we'll right, running think... again. Dude, I mean that this is how. No, it why are you doing this video game? Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, because you proliferated it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, my my You're actually my gonna need to use like... that draw. You're gonna need to like deal a billion damage to yourself. Uh oh, did you pass the turn? No, no, no. I just accidentally clicked the wrong button. No, but you lost all your red mana now. Oh, you know, no, 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 because I kept one in hand in case I needed to. <laughs> you just, let me tell you something. This really does feel like the mechanical version of someone actually trying to use the one ring, right? Where they're just like, no, 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 look, I figured out a way to like not I'm succumb not to the temptation. Oh shit, I'm really fucking up. No, but that's okay. <laughs> look, I have a backup in the closet. I have like the, the, the WD-40 to undo all the squeaky evil is getting created here. It's not a big deal. Okay, so now I've I, now I think we're good. Now I can play this, and now I can do this, and now I can do this, and then you can take it. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, so let me just put put an upkeep stop here. All right, so let me just activate this. Yeah, may as well. Alright, so, Harmless Offering. You know, it's so funny with, like, a cat here. Let me see if I have anything good here. Alright, so I have a stop. If you can bounce it, or if you can just deck me out mid, like, mid-play. Oh, you can even redraw. Oh, no, you'd be dead, because that would be 16 draws. Yeah. Ooh. Let's go ahead and scry. Be cool. I'm so curious, like, what could possibly be coming out? Like, what if I do somehow lose because you just have a single... Oh, yeah. You... Oh, you, well, you're going to mill two. I'd like to point out that the Harmless Offering had a cat on it. Yeah, yeah. And that I gifted it to you. That's it? You, you are... You perished? This is the game. Okay, the game. GG. GG. That was very, uh, I, you did a lot oh there. God, I mean, there's just that so was much. Too, I, I'm too stupid for these decks. I need to pick simpler decks next time. Well, let me tell you, if you do what I do and you pick the simpler decks, you just very simply sit there while you wait to die. Um, Though I thought you were going to win because I didn't know if this was going to successfully, like, but it worked. Oh. Yeah. Well, hear you me. I have a deck that is going to go infinite on you. Pretty, pretty rarely, but I think we might be able to make it work this time. All, All right. right, sure. It's going to be a little rare, but let me, I'm going to go into the next little showcase because, man, we are doing some long matches. Mm -mm -mm. 
So, this deck, look at what Boromir says. Sack Boromir, creatures you control gain indestructible till end of turn. The ring tempts you. Okay? So, Radadrabic says, whenever another legendary creature you control dies, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's not legendary, and it's a 2-2 black zombie uh, in addition to its other colors. So, with Boromir, you sacrifice it. The effect, creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn, the ring tempts you, that goes on the stack. Because you sacrificed Boromir, this triggers Radadrabic to make a 2-2 two -two that's not legendary, at which point, creature gains indestructible, the ring tempts you, triggers, meaning that I can make the non-legendary token a ring bearer, which makes it legendary again. All right, so now we can we can, we can can sacrifice this again. Because uh, again, this is whenever another legendary creature you control dies. Create a token that's a copy. Doesn't care that it's a token. So we're looping infinitely. So what do we do? Schmeagle says, if a creature died under your control this turn, the ring tempts you, and if the ring tempts you, target opponent reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal land. Put that card into the battlefield tapped under your control and the rest into their graveyard. So, infinite temps into infinite mill into infinite day nines, infinite skill. All right. We also have some other stuff that, like, I'll be honest, it just does not really matter. We have some ways to, like, you know, draw some cards, like, protect some pieces of our stuff, get Frodo out there. We also have some other things that can be a ring bearer and can get sacrificed. I mean, it's... It's kind of ridiculous. I challenge what the guest. I challenge you, for I wish to go infinite. I I can kind of, but like also no. It's very odd. This deck is is like more down to earth. Less I play alone. I mean, there is a point where it might, but it doesn't yeah. always get. It doesn't play the one ring. Let's just like that's enough for you ah, to know that it's that's, not going to be really good to hear. Yeah, mm. the, the one ring is after playing with it for this one game. It's a, it's a messed up card, Sean. I don't know. It's I don't know good. what to make of that. I have to mulligan because I couldn't cast a single card in my hand. Do you need to restart the game so as to be able to cast? No, no goodness, no. It's like not a really big deal. Because I think I think we did it. So this is coming down and is going to scry one. Wow. Are you feeling threatened yet? I mean, just a little surprise. We've known each other a long time. Can't believe you would just play a one-one on turn one and start pecking at me. That's terrible. I'm not even going to. Oh my god! Because I is, like you. This is honor right here. This is respect. All right. Well, you're playing three colors that I like very much. At the mm -hmm. beginning of your upkeep, the ring tempts you. Whenever you choose a creature as your ring bearer, you may pay... This is so cool. Wait, so this automatically gets you to the ring, like, stage four? Or does it loop back in? Does it just, like, stack up? Oh, no, it goes it loop... to four, and then it just stays at four. The ring is just, like, oh. so tempting. It's just, like, that's uh, a really. Turn? That's actually just a very good card, then, isn't it? It's, I don't know. It's seems... a beater. It's a For beater. two mana? Yeah, it seems like a oh, yeah. solid one. I like it. Mark Wood Bats. Oh my god, the bats? All right, well. Okay, well, here is Schmeagol. Helpful guy. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died under your control this turn, the ring tempts you. Whenever the ring tempts you, target a bonus. I mean... Wait, you steal my lands? Yeah, isn't that sick? That's like my favorite thing to do in video games. <laughs> Take lands. Target player's command center and workers become your command center and workers. God, that would be... Let me tell you something. I'm ready. I'm ready to make an expansion. Watcher in the water. Whenever... I'd like to point out that this art is absolutely sick. And I didn't know who Chris Cold was, but now I do. Dude. This is sick. Whenever you draw a card during an opponent's turn, create a 1-1 one, one blue tentacle. Whenever a tentacle you control dies, untap up to one target Kraken and put a stun counter on up to one target non-line permanent. Okay.
Fabled Passage. What? Hell yeah. What was that? Did you just... How many did you mill? Like a it, until you Until I reveal a land, I just, I just milled out all the stuff? That was pretty crazy. Let me go ahead and I'm going to get the legendary... Rapid this is rabbit. this is not this is not okay. Other zombies do things. When a creature dies, do a thing too. You're doing a lot of things for somebody. All right, draw and then discard. All right. All right. Call so of the ring. Ring so temps. What is totally it? fine? So what does that do? You draw. End step. If something died. The ring tempts you if it tempts. So what happens? Like so, you can't. I can't lose the game when the ring tempts you too much, right? Like that's that's only for for uh, Frodo, correct? Um. Yes, that's correct. Only only. Frodo okay. de dodo. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. The ring tempts you. Other zombies you control Ooh. have vigilance. Is that a zombie? That's just a halfling horse. Is the game over? Dude. Do you need another turn? Uh is 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 am I dead? I think so. Wait, you you win? I I I, I have to do the math, but I think so. Here you can you can try to start winning if you want. Alright, so whenever. All right, so this is draw. So are you just going to make a bunch of tentacles? Is that it? Yeah, it makes a tentacle. And then the bat goes bing. Okay. <laughs> Another one of those moments. Okay. Can you Can you stop this? Yeah, I could. I could say no. It's a. It is a may ability at some point. I yeah. may at any point. Yeah, fall go, to the loop. Can, cancel your may. Cancel your may. It is done. Thank you. It's really kind of you. Because this combo is sweet. All right, I'm gonna show you. Okay, this one. I want. I want to see it. I want to see it. All right. I hope you just don't so, remove all the lands from my deck. So uh, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so. Doesn't what, matter. what I do is you'll notice that anytime there's some temptation that happens. Yeah, you can pay two, right? Uh, well, no, you get milled in particular. How am I getting milled every time? Oh, because uh, oh, the non Smeagol lands. does that. Yes, yes, true. Yeah, until a land comes up and then it stops tempting. Well, so check out Boromir. All right, check this out. Boromir, I can sacrifice to give everything indestructible to let it turn in the ring tempts me. Okay. Sure. So let's go ahead and let that resolve. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice this. Now, because sacrifice was a payment and the effect is indestructible and the ring tempts you, this Radadrabic makes a non legendary token, which I then immediately yes. make legendary again and the ring tempts it. But you, okay. Because again. Which means that you can re sacrifice himself forever? And keep oh, yeah. paying life to mill me. I don't even need to pay life. You, pay life you, is a yeah, because Boromir. Yeah, because you no know longer effect. have to pay life with Call of the Ring now that Boromir just does the loop on his own. Yeah. Correct. Okay, oh, that's yeah. such a cool combo. And it's infinite temptation. True. Infinite temptation. That might matter. There's got to be. Is there? Is there a mechanic that cares about that beyond four? Uh. And it's also all my ends. I yeah, don't know it, if well, that see, matters. I, I mill your whole deck. Yeah, yeah, but it's all my lands. Just, you know, for the sake of... Yeah, I also get all your land. So it's yes. right before you die, I have all your land. It's basically like Monopoly. That is like a very cool concept. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I dig this very much. Oh, yeah. Although... This the, is the really cool. Of, I really need to There's destroy There's a lot of clicking, enchantment. but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> Are you stuck with it? Yeah, hold on, I gotta. So how how do I how do I full pass? What's the? Uh, it is. I think it's shift enter. Yeah, I got yes. it. I'm auto passing. 
I think we should be. It should be a little faster now that it's not halting every time I do a thing. All right. The they, there are a lot of infinite loops in these cards. I feel like I've missed on. They, they've just created a lot of recursion bits and pieces, yeah, dude, the, right? The, like in the, recent uh, sets. The infinite flumping is, I believe, a legit combo in Historic. Hey. Really? Well, yeah, because, no. I mean, it's just like I mean, it's an good, auto like, penguin. Yeah, but you have to make it indestructible for it to work. So, like, you have three cards, and, I mean, I guess you could play it in Esper. Yeah, I guess Esper does the thing. Well, I mean, I don't know. Does it survive aggro? I guess flump blocks, yeah. Well, because, yeah. like, you can imagine someone who is running more or less an Esper control list, where Orcish Bowmasters is great in the Esper mirror anyways. Oh, yeah, just, that's like, a fair point. That's true. Flash in a billion uh, pings and an XX. Yeah, it actually starts, like, the combo goes off so early because you go, like, turn one selfless, turn two flump, and then turn three Orcish, and, like, you win. Oh, yeah, dude. I feel, I'm feeling, I'm feeling powerful. Now, can I... Do I have yeah. to draw? Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. Good Wait. job, Sean. You did the combo. Hey, hey, did you resize your window at all? Because you seem, you seem small on my end. I don't feel... You're no, looking, I don't... I'll, I haven't... I'll, whoa! Yeah, nothing's Hold changed gotta, for me. I gotta enhance you. Oh, my gosh. Well, let me just say, in while I'm adjusting this... I love winning and losing at the same time. This is this is why we do what the deck knocks, because we we. But can I do like both. the combo you had more. Yeah, it was pretty. I sick. think it's Hold on, I got it. way really large. way. Ah, there we go. There we go. It's easy, so easy. convoluted. It's like yeah. every card is a wall of text, and yeah. then like together they made they make a book that like actually wins. Yeah, I mean, I I will say the Lord of the Rings set has some wordy wordy cards in it. Also, true I just to, clicked on the form. World Championship. <laughs> button here and it went to a website and i was like ah well let me just say we have been going for just over an hour and i still have two more decks to go one goes infinite the other does not which one are you in the mood to play against whichever one you think is the coolest i i'm not i'm not a picky person all right i think this one is is amazing because in this one the horse is the king okay I have questions. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Let's take a peek. The Shadow Cat's Horse Fetcher list. Okay. This is very straightforward. Shadow Fax, Lord of Horses. Horses have haste. Whenever Shadow Fax, Lord of Horses attacks, we put a creature card with lesser power from your hand onto the battlefield tap than attacking. Right? It's just an aggro card. We also have Winoda, Joiner of Forces. Says whenever one or more non-human creatures you control attack, look at the top six cards of your library. You may put a human creature card from among them onto the battlefield, tap them attacking against indestructible till end of turn. So the name of this deck is Winoda, Joiner of Horses, because Shadowfax, the horse, and Winoda, the unbelievably busted human, are very, very just good cards for getting lots of things down onto the battlefield. And uh, just to make sure that we are staying thematic, we have many horses that are coming along. Shield Mare, Diamond Mare. We have Mary, <laughs> Esquire of Rohan, right? And there's some, some more good uh, other free folk. We also get Theoden, King of Rohan, that whenever there's a battlefield, target against double strike till end of turn. And we got Bill the Pony. I mean, Bill the Pony probably is not going to fit in here, but, you know, we got, we got Bill the Pony. We also have an Ember Cleave and a Crested Sun Mare. I mean, this is... This is legitimately such a ridiculous dedication to the theme of the humans of Free Folk plus horses for them to ride. I mean, the flavor here is unbelievable. What is happening? I do not want to, I want to challenge. Challenge, yes. Case I'm incredibly excited about this next list. So this is going to be a funky list because I will try to make your creature good to kill you better. Excellent. This list that won't make. 
<laughs> this list I'm running, every human yeah. has a has a horse that they get to ride. I mean, it's literally a Riders of Rohan list. It's I like amazing. it. This is just the flavor. Wow, this opening hand is is actually terrible. I'm gonna need a mulligan. I'm gonna keep this just because it's slow and kind of has pieces that I need. But like, my deck will take longer to come online. This isn't like a flump, you know, a flump win. It's not a flump aggro. No, it's it's not a flump aggro. It isn't the jellyfish right, this deck. Is, this is good. Okay, that that'll do. That'll do it. All right, that seems good. Hey. It's going to take a while, but we'll Sacred get Foundry. there. All right, Sean, do you like plants? Dowsing dagger. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. True. Interesting. All right. Yeah. It's true. Hmm. Hmm. All right, we got Mary. Going in, baby. Find her plants. Wow, these cards are. This is this is a card. Like equipments have got. Wow. Yeah. yeah. No, this is good. Yeah. It's a good time to come back, Knox. Good time to come back. These these cards have gotten really uh, powerful. Oh, are you gonna give it flying? I don't really know. I think I'll just do this. All right. I, I'm not sure that was like a correct move, but it felt okay. Follow I just Mary. want to like you have you have a you have a, a Mary, and I have a Moon Blessed Cleric. We'll see which one of those two is so, stronger. I'm gonna play. Oh Winota. goodness gracious! <laughs> so. Oh yeah, it's not even a human. This is such yeah. a cheat. Absolute yeah. scam. Scammed. I was Boom. wow. That happened. Oh yeah. Indestructible too. At least uh, Mary isn't. Yeah. That is a thing that just oh, happened. So good. Now, now I, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased that the Riders of Rohan. If I get a land, the Riders of Rohan will be coming in full force on this upcoming turn. I mean, it's just if so clean. If you get clean. a land. It's so clean, it's so clear. Yeah, I do need a Lando Talrizian here for sure. This is just so beautiful. I don't, I don't know how to make this not hurt. Mm. No, I was supposed to sacrifice the dagger. <laughs> well, the good you know news what, is, Sean? what it, it didn't matter. Yeah, what well, is this? I got built. Create two food tokens until I have target creature you control assigns damage equal to. Oh, these are humans, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah. But Bill the Pony, notably, is inhuman. <laughs> I love that she shot and then just futzed through the uh, UI UX and just like let Winona just, just eat one a little bit. And then she's like, oh, okay, only dust off and head back for damage. I I have to find a way to not die. I just, this is, I should have gotten the other card. Well, let me, let me, let me be honest. This next turn's gonna I be have great. a dowsing dagger. I'm gonna be doused. All right, now, uh, do you need another turn? Uh, I'm not sure another turn would save me. Well, dude, Honest, look, look at what this. Is... We are Shadow already. Shadow Fax! Wait, Shadow Fax is like Winota, but balanced. Oh my god. I mean, I mean, if you want to say <laughs> that. All right, let's 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 get out uh, Yomer. Okay, indestructible. Out. Oh yeah, wait, indestructible. Oh, yeah, that's Winota let's doing let's her thing. Winota. Let's keep <laughs> this Winota, and because a legendary died, we get another attacking phase after this one. Put a creature that with lesser power a cool onto the concept. battlefield. I'm gonna put the shield mare out. Why not? All right, why it's not? It's a horse. It is a horse. Target creature you control. I want this card to do damage equal to its toughness. Strong Boom. move. Yep. Very strong move. Yeah. So good. Dude, and I feel dead. There's literally so many horses 
come I had all the pieces, but I if I could have killed Winota, Sean. If you could have killed Winota. I mean, I would have had to draw another Winota. You would have drawn another Winota based on how this was That's going, true. but... Uh, okay, yeah, that was that was the most, uh, like, flavorful Boros aggro win I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, and it's just liter like, literally a linear aggro deck. It's just like, well, we play the horses. But it's good, and it has Lord of the Rings. We play all the king's horses with all the king's men. I liked it. Noxious couldn't be put back together again. Um, <laughs> this, this last one, though. This last one is not, not going fully infinite, but going... Close. Awfully close. Awfully close. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll be in the similar, similar, uh, similar space. Perfect. And, you know, since we've been going for nearly an hour and 15 minutes, I'm going to plow straight in. Yeah, go ahead. Final intro, because after that, Case, we have the very serious three match series. The, the BO3 to end yeah. them all. <laughs> oh my God. It's so true. There can only be one. Um, Different media. All right, let's take a look at King Gurk's Yomer turns. Now, for you who, who um, want to know exactly how this is pronounced, this is Yomer, Marshal of Rowan. All right. Haste. Whenever one or more attacking legendary creatures you control die, untap all creatures you control. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. This ability triggers only once each turn. So, we don't get... Fully infinite attack phases. But we have cards like Woe Strider, where I can sack something to trigger Yomer. Uh, we also have Altar of Dementia, where we can sacrifice an attacking creature to trigger Yomer. Um, and we even have some delighted halflings that can help us ramp to the legendary Yomer. Yomer, Yomer, Yomer. Uh, what are some other things here? Oh, yeah, we can do some additional sacrificing effects like this. Varagoth. Each player searches their library for a card, then shuffles and puts that card on top, right? We have some other things that are nice for finding Yomer. Um, it's just a fun thing. Yomer. Yomer with the dementia. Dude, I'm telling you, Yomer. It, uh, Yomer's a pretty tight name, not gonna lie. Eomar. All right, Sean, I will be right back. Give me two minutes, and then I will crush you with Wait, the power of... You're going to be gone. Whatever's coming. You don't know. You're just leaving. That's incredible. That's a bold move. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's show the blank chair. Look at this. This is next level confidence, right? This is how it's done. Can you imagine being, like, watching The Voice... And one of the judges on The Voice is like, uh, hold on one sec. I, uh, hold on. And then they just walk away. They're just gone. And they come back. All right, go ahead and sing. I'm ready. Be amazing. Look at this. Nox is truly the most confident guest we've ever had on here. I'm way too neurotic for that shit. I'd be like, if I was in a house on fire, I would just be like, all right, well, everyone, it's just, woo. Ooh, sure is hot in here. Oh, God, the show must go on. Oh, my goodness. This is a game right here. Also, this is my cat. Look how good of a cat Despy is. She sits by me all day and just tries to annoy me all day. Oh. I'm back, and I, I win. I've already got... That's it. The game is over. All right. All right. This... This hand is not the worst hand. I don't know <laughs> if that's really encouraging. It's not the worst. It's not the best, but... You know. I have a companion, which is something I didn't think I'd say in whatever insert current year. Oh my god, this is your little cat nightmare, and I already have one of those right here. Undead butler. This is now a good hand. <laughs> what changed? Kalein, a reclusive painter. You make a treasure. Kalein okay. in Spain. Kalein? Mm. Kalein. Mm. So good. I shall pay for Loris. Ah, I yes. now have the cat. The world tree, huh? Do you. Okay. The world tree? You play the world tree. 
Why do you play the world tree? Why do you need so many colors? What do you need? So, you know, uh, this person Yelmer. again. Whenever yeah, it dies, Yelmer. you may exile it. I can return a creature from my graveyard to my hand. Okay, I mean, I have to block. This is too dangerous. Perfect. What do I... Let's this go is a good Yelmer. card. I mean, this is this is gonna be kind of <laughs> kind of exciting now that I'm looking at it. All right, death what right is gonna shaman. Be exciting. I'm this I'm curious. Here? What are you What are you run? What are you running? Yeah, death right is like it's old school. It's old right, school I'm, cool. I'm gonna be playing the world tree, I'm playing the ultra mm -hmm. dementia. Target players. Is that... Okay. All right, here I go. I'm gonna sack. Whenever one creature dies, but it's not. Oh, it's legendary. Oh no. <sighs> yeah. So Wait, there it is. It... Untapped. Oh, that is so. That is yeah. so cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, that is a super cool concept. Wow. Now, the wow. Advantage that's... Is that I just. I'm coming in again, baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm noticing <laughs> that. This not... is wild. And you it's, can keep like you could sack it again technically as like as long as you had legendaries to sack could you keep but doing it this? Only activates once per turn, unless you make another Eomer somehow. An additional like bringing it back from the Eomer. graveyard. Mm hmm. W wouldn't that work? Mm -hmm. I think it might work. Oh, it sure does. So I will be doing this. Because I don't really know what else. Whoa! <laughs> what? The... Ah! All right. Okay, Stitcher's supplier. Come back. I don't really. There's no real clear endpoint right. here. But we just have to survive you are Eomer doing and some things. I have I have yet to see someone from Well there's a or Orcish Bowmasters. <laughs> it's like it's always where, there. It's you again. Where's <laughs> Sora? Always. Oh, he's right here. Enter's tapped. A Yara. Uh sacrifice another creature artifact that is Oh uh, what? Another sacrifice effect. Return up to one target creature. <gasps> Did you see sick, that with huh? with Eomer? That is such a cool combo. Eomar. That is the sickest combo. Get in there, ever, Eomar. Ever comboed. Oh, it feels so good. Goodbye, Stitcher. Yeah, I supplier. really like this combo. Yeah, I just have to eventually do something. Stitcher. Mill away, Stitchy boy. Stitcher Supplier, the greatest activator of Hogak. Yak, baby. Okay. Now, if I can get through one more turn. The Ornithopter of Paradise. Okay, I'm going to just scoot you a little bit. There you go. All right, founding the third path. Okay. So I can okay. choose where I want to go? Cassins or sorcerers, one or two. Hopefully. So I can target that. I can mill myself. Okay. This is a cool mechanic. Read ahead. I've been oh, out of dude. the game for a while. Read ahead is so good. I really like that. This okay. is a this is a cool a cool concept. All right, we're just gonna do this. Sure, it's fine. Oh now what we boy. can do is. And wait. Okay, so. Clain. You make a treasure. Yeah. D does it exile the creature? No. It, it does get exiled if it survives until the next exactly. end step. Exactly. Exactly. So now... Okay, now here's here's the cool bits. Here's the cool bits. All right, we got some blocks. So now I just sack Kalane. 
which immediately untaps. Uh, and... True. Oh, wait, and then I that will to... cause another combat phase from Ilmer. Oh, yes, yeah, so hold on. So what I need to do is I need to go like hold full control. So this resolves. Okay, hold on. Now you've got the combat phase. So we're we're not we're not done yet. We're not? Because I need to sacrifice this guy. Oh you no. Oh god, no. Oh why? Why would you do that? So now it comes back. Yeah. Well, does it come back? Is it another creature? Because does a Yara a Yara's done bringing oh. stuff back? Well, no, because she's getting another combat step. Because that is that a delayed effect, and now it's gonna keep going. He's just stopped oh, eventually. Oh, I fucked it up, didn't I? God damn it! Oh fuck! No, I need to. I need to get these this legend turkey out. All right, all right. Give me another turn. Give me another turn. Give me another yeah. turn. Yeah, because Yomer doesn't say whenever a legendary dies. It's whenever one or more other attacking legendaries die. So, rats. Okay. Well, I'll just do that shit to you again. Oh my god, this cat is so cute that it doesn't even matter. Hello. Oh boy. What right, are well. you I, like? What I'm curious about is what you do at the end of this. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna see it. It's gonna make a lot of sense when I start swing swanging. Okay. All right. So here we go. So first, we're gonna uh, go ahead and we're gonna play Yomer, right? Yes. Now this I understand. And then we're gonna play Mirror Box, so we can have multiple legends. Oh, yeah. Right, so, yeah, that will change things a little. We're going to bring back Yomer. Yeah, no, that that definitely will do the thing. So, we're going to choose these attackers. Yep, that sounds right. Now, whatever you do, I will need to sacrifice this one. So now I sacrifice the you get milled. This one sacrifice. Boom. I I so. lose 6, yes. Yeah, so then this this one untaps. Correct. So now we get another combat. Yes. Which then brings back... The other. Yeah. <laughs> so this guy's here. But it comes it comes in attacking. But it, it will it will work. And then what we do is after we've done this, we then sacrifice the other one. The one that's already triggered. Because then that goes to the grave. And then we have a new one. And I, I believe that that gets reset when it comes back in. It, it should, yeah. It should get reset, correct. There we and go. And then you're supposed to get another Eomer, right? Yeah. And that'll give you another. This is a very convoluted way to do... um. Remember that like gate of the pharaoh combo with the the the, the red yes. dude zealot? I forget the name, but I mean everybody yeah, knows yeah, what yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. I gotcha. You. I you gotcha. do got me. I, 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 I mill attacked you to death. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you mill attacked me. Okay. Yeah, that's a cool combination. All right, interesting way to loop the Eomers, right? Because oh, you just... My God. Uh... Oh, and they all get exiled. Exile, 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 exile. If I could cast this spell in my head at instant speed, I would mm. win. Mm -mm -mm. But the spell in my hand is only sorcery speed. Is it Thalia? Or not... Um... No, it's uh, Peer says, into the me. Abyss. Oh, <laughs> so I could have made you draw an orcish bowmaster you at the same time. Oh my it's... god. <laughs> that Dude. was the plan. I'm not gonna lie. BO3? It's time. Are you do you think you win this or I think if I play that aggressive Boros list as my first one, 
We'll True. start up one and zero. Oh. That's what. That's definitely what I'll do. Try to counter me, and then we're gonna try to do as dumb of a thing as humanly possible to close it out. Okay. Perfecto. Sure. Now, before we go into our oh so serious best of three, um, the way it works is we're going to just take three of our favorites from the five that we just played. I'd like to give a warm thanks to NordVPN for not just sponsoring this episode, but many of the past and future episodes of What the Deck. You can go to nordvpn.com slash day9tv to get a massive discount off a two-year plan plus four extra months. It's literally right there. I don't think you can click on it on the screen, but I'm sure it's on a comment page somewhere. I understand how hard it is, being that I know both you and I don't know how to read. That's yeah, why we I like magic read. so much. That's the only reason I yes. made a mistake. Uh, but Knox, I am I am currently challenging you. Okay. Currently challenging you. I'm going to click this. What the guest? Yes. And I think it's time. Go ahead. Click the button. I've challenged it, except for me. Oh yeah. Why did it not pop? It's time to do the Boros okay. aggro list. Yeah, I'll play Boros, too. Well, it'll be a Boros face-off. Hey, King Gurk, have a great night. Thanks for the great submissions, as always. Oh, yeah. Every week, we get at least a couple solid King Gurk lists. Oh, my God, it's the busted hand. It's busted and busted as much as it can. Mine's better. I mean, it can't be better than a Winota list, but it's better than other hands that I could have against that, that, that deck. Like, imagine oh, if the plants sick. didn't have Defender. Like, you could actually attack with it. That would be terrifying. That with would be Winota. so sick. You know what? I'm going to play the Diamond Mare first. Choose what color. is this? Oh, it's a horse. Right. It's it a horse. It's a horse. It's, horse. It it's a the horse. Riders of Rohan. It's emphasized really hard like that. It, um, Rohan. The Ro <laughs> Rohan. 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 So right. I haven't played much with this card, but I hear that it's good. Fable of the Mirror Breaker is Diz I have been told that it was very good. Ting. It is so good. All right. You have gained life. I'm not going to attack you. Yeah, I figured you wouldn't. Coward. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. And what are the other, what's the other text on this? This is has first strike as long as it's equipped. Man, I here's I really gotta hurry this up. All right, no blocks. See, the fact that the fact All that right. it generates the treasure is just. I don't really, I don't really know why that's on there, right? It's just a straight up two two would have been perfectly would've been, okay. Would've been great. But it's like, I don't it's know like about a great, ramping, but it's like okay, right? Ramping, like, filtering, this is just, copying thing. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's supposed to work this way. That's a lot of damage coming in. I am. I'm not here for it. All right, here we go. Bang, bang, go! Oh my God. What am I doing oh, yes. with my life? I mean, I okay, really I... hope what you're doing with your life is losing 0 and 1, because then that way I can at least potentially be getting the lead. Mamma mia. Dude, Reflection and Kiki Jiki pay one mana to just copy some. Okay. Things are getting weird out here. Eric and Burn. Eric and Burn. Eric and Burn. You can't, there's no way you can equip at instant speed. Hey, 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 get off the space bar. Yep. Oh, that's what's going on. My cat's like literally leaning on the space bar. Would it pass through everything? There were one or more counters put on a permanent. All be one deals that much damage to target opponent. Creature and opponent controls planes. All right. So show me your counters. What? 
I know. I had the same reaction. Um. I had the same thought. Oh my god. You wish to lose the horse? I'm oh no, lie. you can put a creature with lesser power. It's true, I forgot about that. What does that put down? What do you even get? Oh. Horse o'clock. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> it's, just, it's just horses all the way down. Dude, I'm telling you, the riders of Rohan are gone. It's just the horses of Rohan at this point. Really? Oh, really? You wish for Shadowfax to die. Our Shadowfax is living. Dude, thanks for the defender. Lull. Oh my god. What? What is this combo? I was told this worked. I don't think that it does. What, what, what was... But it might. It seems like it might. This is all considered excess damage. What? What By the making fuck? it in this... Destructible. It is now all it's excess all damage. It's all excess damage because it has already received enough damage to kill it. What Indestructible says is that if you ever take enough damage to die, you don't. It prevents death. Yeah. Uh, the problem is, like, I can't kill you right now. I, I, I could have opened up with that and made this one infinitely large, but then I still can't kill you because you have a plant. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess I could have killed the plant I mean, at the end of that You kill the plant sequence. and then get uh, another three counters, and then kill the Diamond Mare. It's true. <laughs> so, like, this eventually ends. So... I, I think if I'd killed the plant... I think if I hadn't attacked, then I'd just made it big, and then try to kill it, and then begun the loop. But the issue is, I think the excess damage wasn't high enough to be, like, to create a loop. That, that's the issue that I'm having with this. All right, let's go build a pony. These are food tokens. So if you make a copy of this, it's a zero zero. Yeah, it just dies. Like it doesn't, it doesn't copy the counters as far as I'm aware. You oh, that I'm is indeed. I am you know, dead. I might you know actually I'm dead. I'm not going to let you swing with a 65-65. Come on, make it one one. No, did it work? <laughs> the horse is slain. Yes. I love this combat trick disguised as an equipment. I love it. It's just like, here's an equipment. It's viable. We made it good. Oh it's just God. a combat trick. I cannot believe you went infinite. This is enormous. Oh. Okay, that was honestly, I liked my combo. I feel like. It's just tough to get the... Because the problem is, like, it doesn't compound yeah. the damage, right? Like, it would have to compound the damage beyond... I mean, I guess I could have killed the, the horse at the end of that sequence. Yeah. Instead of being stupid. Instead of kill, killing a mare, I could have killed Dude. Shadowfax. Dude, I am so tickled at the fact <laughs> that you go infinite in that situation. Not infinite in a way that yeah. is necessarily... Just useful? Helpful? Just yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I, I do think that it's, it's it's still very, very impressive that you can do that. Uh, because that's yeah. absolutely one of those, like, is that is that how that works? And it's like, technically, yes, indestructible is has nothing to do with tracking the damage. That's preventing yeah. an effect of what damage does. So, yeah, it's all excess damage. Blah. <laughs> Just hearing blah I got, again and again, again was, was really something I, I, I really liked the concept. I, I love the concept. It's like, let's, let's loop... The infinite counter is in a way that doesn't necessarily yeah. win the game. I There's got to be a way to break this further. Yeah, like, there's always a way, but... It has to be something that is along the lines of... Put an additional plus one... Or an additional yes. counter every time you would put one on. 
And then it would it would like compound every single time you got one. Yeah, it'd be five and six and seven. That's some good stuff. I recognize this deck. No, you don't. I've never seen this deck. That's exactly right. Boom, bada boom. First blood. All right. Here it that's comes. That's its own kind of win. Marit Lage. Wait, that's a, that's a, the old card, but like remade. Uh, yeah, you've got 10 or more snow permanent. Oh, that's like cooler than the land. But it is like snow worse. permanent. Snow permanentos. So you're still on the snow permanent plan, huh? I am. I am permanently on the snow permanent. You live in Alaska. I see. <laughs> All right. Uh, that'll do. So now oh, I'm it's gonna this go. cry deck. I'm gonna play yeah, Gal there she Galadriel. Is. Galadriel. Galadriel, yep. baby. There she is, Galadrieling. There she gals it. Hey, one dark mirror mill string cards. Man, this is this is gonna be funny because technically I'm running a mill list too. Like you mill. I know. I'm trying to speed a, up. I'm trying to time. accelerate. <laughs> I need to accelerate. This needs to go faster. So where where is the where is Sauron in this? Um The Bowmaster. Outside of that? Uh <laughs> on my I, I my card sleeves. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny, dude. It's just like literally nothing. Oh, no, it's so got good. the bowmasters. Why are you arguing? Right. You seem to be arguing like the. I don't like the way you're questioning my choices. Hold on, we're gonna do this. All right, let's. That's really cool. This is so insane. This is actually this is this is, this is nasty. This is beyond idiotic. I love this. All right, and it had to stop. It ha at some point. It ha is it going to keep going? But it also going? has to quick. start. It also has to start. So. <laughs> stop. So it's cries every time. Where in what set is this? This is such a cool concept. All right. I'm not even sure. It's oh, it has flying. I I might be dead. Oh my Am I god, dead? dude. Oh, it's yeah. only on upkeep. You have so many lands. <laughs> so absurd. Oh my god, I'm hitting every single one. Keep going. <laughs> I mean, you have 30, so at some point you're going to have to hit. Jeez, I mean, it's literally like every time. I might start milling you out instead. Yeah, I mean, this is... I mean, I'm not. I'm never going to stop. I will always try to go for an additional land. Like that 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 is my conceit in this environment. Alright, this is the game. Did the listener see is her the for game? good measure? Oh, you mean it is the turn. I mean this is just I a thought... phrase I say a lot. This is the game. Okay. This is the game, this is it. Well Come on. Uh Yes. Yes, marriage. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't, uh, what's the word? Yes. Don't. Stop me now. Cause I'm having a good time. Having a good time. All right. Uh oh. Continued mills on that side. It's really tempting to mill you out, but I don't think it's the right move. Yeah, it is, it is tough. Now I have a 2020 indestructible flyer. You do. I accept your damage. This, this is sacrifice, then create. So because it says so the you word, get to... yeah, because it says sacrifice then create, I can't swing with it this turn. Oh, it's not as good as the land then, or is it? Mm -hmm. Iceberg King Crix. All right. Because I, I remember Dark Depths being... Oh, because it was used during the opponent's end step, so you could swing with it. Um, that was the difference. 
Yeah, yeah, this is this is crummier dark depths, but still just as cool dark depths. Okay. All right, let's let's see if I can get you. No, you can't. There is no way. Mill, mill. You can't. No, no, there's no chance. Oh, Merit Lage has already flipped. Shit. Shit. Yeah, you can still start crying, Ugh. right? All right, hold on me. Yeah, you need you need that enchantment back. Oh, you might actually get it because this is... Is it a snow cart? It is. It's a snow enchantment. It could actually go into your hand. It could go into your hand. Not what I want. There she is. At the top of the deck. All right. I, oh, I, I hope to glory this is the game. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, so you kind of need a self-mill on this turn. Or otherwise, I will plausibly and possibly mill you out this turn. Because I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 total lands seen. So that means... One, two... I, I picked up... I drew a land, but I think I needed an untapped land. In order to have a chance at winning. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So of my 34 lands, I see... Or 34 cards, I see 12. So that's 22 cards. And of those 22 cards, about half of them, 11 lands, are still in the deck. Okay. So I think that this is pretty high probability. Oh, you could also Wait. mill me to guarantee that I don't hit Merit Lage. That's my plan, but i it's not great. Yeah, because all these guys that tap and mill, they're already all turned sideways. I keep trying to come up with a plan that means I don't die. Oh, boy. Ooh. But the mill, the mill is the big thing. Well, I, I can also swing for a pretty pretty big amount of damage. Correct, and that's another problem. <laughs> this is another pickle, Sean. Okay, so let's let's see if I can. We can do this. All right, let's uh, let's see how this goes. I guess <laughs> this is this is where we are. All right. So first things first. <laughs> Merit Lake. Sure, yeah, that, that'll work. I mean, you have you have played a lot of snow things. Oh yeah, that's two per. Yeah. Yeah, that's a mill, mill. A lot of them. True, true, true. To the bottom. Reveal. <laughs> yay! No wait, no, that's right. a yay. No, it goes into your hand. That's not good. Does it go into your hand? No, it doesn't. Yeah, with the frost auger. Well, now it does. Okay, but it There's wasn't going to. It was. It wasn't. No, it is. That's a snow permanent. Oh yep, my can... god, slow and steady. Wins the race. Wins the race. Yes. Oh, baby. Let's see. Mm, dude, Merit Lage and Galadriel. There is something beautiful about this deck. This is exactly what JR and Tolkien had in mind when he was writing the... <laughs> sure, sure was. The, the sure Silma was. Badillion. Wait, that's not a snow. That's good for me, right? Because that. True. Oh no, because now you can move it out with. Uh, I can glistener see it away. Yeah, um, you can glistener see. Oh, actually, I, I, I messed up. Yeah, and I, I needed to do it right away. But, but this is fine. Did you I, though? I can scry it because you can just scry it out. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I think. So okay, that's good. it keeps going. If I can get another iceberg cankrix. I'll be pretty good. No, please, it's not necessary. I, I feel it feels very necessary. I don't know why. One one crab is sufficient to get the job done here, I think. I I actually am a big fan of hoarding crabs. Just the more crabs, the merrier. <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's activate this. Alright. 
Alright, so there we go. Okay. That's the starfish. It's stuck there. Huh. So here's what we gotta do. We have to swing like this and this. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this guy back, bouncing these three lands. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, this is this is some high skill gaming right here. They're gonna replay I, the icebreaker for Kraken. I forgot that this did that. <laughs> and now you this did is not good forget. It, it taps all your guys that are milling. It keeps them tapped, yeah. And now I Let's and now you bottom. get to keep scrying. Okay. Let Let's see if you if you whiff. Okay, that's not a whiff. I need some whiffs, man. I need you to not. I mean, I think at this I'm, point you I'm might even know your entire library. Whiff. You might yeah. be able to see your entire bottom of the library. I know this is not... so good. This is this is what every spike wishes magic was like. Well, I just arranged yeah. my deck in a very specific. Yeah. <laughs> in the right order, and I'm gonna be drawing these cards. And the, I'm yeah. It's simpler right, than so... like nicking the corner of your cards to see them. <laughs> For some of us. Um. Okay, so this 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 gets revealed. That just thumbs down. How close am I to just being able to see every card? That's pretty good. Come on, come on, miss. I know this Missed is taking once. A, uh, like this is what's kind of incredible. About I, this. I need this one is, turn. This is terrible. This I mean this is actually kind of, kind of sick. This is kind of sick and close. This is turning if, into if a I, real game. If you pass and do not win, I win. So you must win. Wait, wh why would you win? I win. I can I can show you, but you'd lose the game. But like your your dudes don't untap. You would die. But you only have the starfish in hand. You can try me. Are you lying to me? Like I literally I don't I, think I'm good enough in no, this game. No, I I, I, yeah, I could win. If you if I don't get milled out, I win. I don't actually believe you. Okay, well, you can test it. You can test the theory right now by passing. Because it's a May, right? The cantrick says. All right, so we hit this. You leave me one card and you, you die. Okay. I, I think, I think... All right, I can't do anything more. Is that the end anyway? Like, did you try to make me win or is no, that... Here's the thing. Like, I can send back the Icebreaker Kraken. And then oh, I yes, can replay and do it, it again. and then you mill out. But I don't see how I... I don't actually see how I lose this because do you talk and you no know, Takanuma is a, you know I just don't see how you do this so I'm I'm passing the turn. I don't see how I okay. For some reason I completely forgot that Luris resurrects things from the dead. I was completely focused on the master of inquiries. Okay. How did you know that that was the last card? I, I I had it in my hand. Wait, no, you didn't have it in your hand. Yeah, I did. I had one card in my hand, and it was peer into the abyss. Dude, I looked and saw no cards in your hand constantly. Hold on. There was, but wait, the last card in my library was peer anyway. I have two now. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not sure that wins though. Like there you might be a two. way. It says you have, have a sigil starfish. It says you have a sigil starfish. It says That's you have a sigil. That's your card. 
You Look. have a sigil, Starfish. Turn I don't, on I my can't stream see. right now. <laughs> Turn on my stream. It said in your hand there's a starfish. It says there's really? a starfish in your hand. Turn my stream on. Turn my okay, stream I'm on. I'm doing this. I'm checking this out. This is great. I don't believe it this does. shit. <laughs> what the it fuck? Does. I was I was like, I don't see how I win. I'm really curious in this. And then you just cast Pure um, to the Abyss. But you uh, know what? To be here's fair, I had only one card left. No, but here's... I, 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 here, you know what really hurts me? What? That you just drew a second fear to the abyss. The last card in your hand was a fear to the abyss. I would have still won, yeah. Fine. Yeah, this is so good. Wait, draws cards equal to half the number of cards in their library and loses half their life roundup each time. Fuck. Is there a way for you to gain life randomly? Let's see if I have any instant speed snow shit. Can't believe this loses. Right. Put that one in the hand. All right. Blah. <laughs> Fucking. That's all I'm ever losing block. to is blah. 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 blah <laughs> Every blah, other blah. thing doesn't win. Sauron's got is a one trick. He's a one trick player. He's got Sauron's he's, he's got, got nothing. He's got Dracula bow masters and just. Blah. Blah. I do About not the only this. thing uh, Sauron knows how to do. <sighs> All right. Well, it's tied. <laughs> it's tied one to one, and we. I, I still it is a starfish. I don't. I can't say this to you enough. It was a starfish. It's true. On my end, I saw how I won. And on your side, you couldn't have known. How could you have known? All right. It. It. I can't challenge you. It's not working. I'm. I'm trying. I'm going. I'm journeying. But this is okay. it. This is. The final For all showdown. the marbles, yes. And I'm going to go back to Brodio's initial list, Linear Legends, because my mind has nothing but smooth surfaces on the exterior. So I need a deck that aligns well with my mental capacity. I, I'm using the biggest deck. It's... Oh! It is my best deck. It's time, baby. I just have to not be bad, which is I think not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> That's it's a real challenge on this show. Oh God, Mind Stone. Okay, no, this is okay because the first thing True. we're gonna do is we're gonna do the Call of the Wing. Grim Tutor, great, three damage. We're both we're both trying to kill we're, you. Yeah, we're closing. We're closing in. Whenever you choose a creature as your ring bearer, and we got Frodo being the ring bearer. Out. Frodo being the ring bearer. The one ring, sure, not a big deal. I have protection from everything. Yeah, uh, it's a fair card. <laughs> oh, so you can still ring bearer this guy. Yeah. Even when it doesn't actually deal damage to me. All right. Interesting. Ooh. Funny how that works. Funny. Ha ha ha. It's so funny how it ha ha works. Now, I mean, literally, I'm the ring bearer versus the one ring. This is the perfect symbolic finish. This is perfect. Plausibly. Also Plausibly. Be it could also be just the shittiest thing ever that ever happened. All right. Ring tempts me, ring tempts me. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so we're definitely going to take action. To draw take a lot. Action. What is that? So now you're at four. So whenever you deal damage to me now, I, I lose three. But do I die if you buff up little buddy boy to like three? Like if you had five mana, would I be dead? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. This is reassuring. Make no mistake about it. I mean, this is a super cool... Yeah, this is a super cool way to ramp up the... Oh, 
Oh my god. What? The ring bearing? This is so close. I'm gonna discard Rabble Rousing. I cannot believe it. In the final game, up against the might of the One Ring. Frodo Sauron's Bane. Oh my god. All right, so, so, okay. It's oh, not shit. completely done. Amazingly, the Ornithopter can block Frodo Sauron's Bane. That is shit, true. Shit, evil's gonna win again. Fuck. <laughs> god, I hate it when evil wins. God. I mean, here's the thing. I increasingly feel like this is Netflix's business model because anytime there is a show that has two seasons, you know that they're just like, well, we could always, you know, just put on a cliffhanger and in season three, you really, really want to watch, but then they get canceled. So every show that I've enjoyed just gets canceled right as Evil's winning and it's going to happen to me again in my real life because this game is real. <laughs> What's happening to me is real. My feelings about it are real. I don't like that I can't... Again, I'm still stuck on the lack of red. This is a this is a running joke. Oh my god. You know what they say. Better... I no, don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say, do you? <laughs> I don't. Um, oh, man. Come on. There's got to be a way. So oh, if I do this alone, red. yeah, that's probably the right the right saying. Better dead than red. There it is. So please, just simply. How much life do you have? Sixteen. I have sixteen. Sixteen. That's a lot of life. I can't do sixteen. I'd be I'd be dead long before I'd be I did the cool thing. So if I do no. this, I waste my one little mana of the color that I need, and that's never good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the one ring. All right. Okay. So that happens. Now, the thing is it'll use my mana wrongly eventually. Eventually. Eventually, yes. So... I, I, I can't, you know, this deck just needed one chromatic lantern, you know, just like, <laughs> yeah, one, just the one, one source, Single just like one. a one non, like non whatever source, because right now it's feeling like I'm going to be stuck in a similar position, kind of. Yeah. Because the red. I have the red, the red mana is right there, but like, how do I ramp also, up those counters? The yeah, like that's, that's the tricky pickle. Well, how do I get the one ring to like up to 16 counters? Yeah, to, I don't like, know. Without That's... drawing myself to death. Like, do you, you see the problem? Let me, yeah, let me think. How, how do you do that? Okay, I have a solution. It's not a good one, but it's the one I got. Because this says, whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player so i think that i think that your play is to replay the one ring block i have to just block and like play the one ring over the one ring yeah i have to play the two ring basically i'm actually curious like what happens when i do this do you explode i explode Stupid blue mana. So you could you could give me the one ring, then play your own one ring, and then Frodo. That, that's what I'm looking. That's what I want to yeah. do right now. That's exactly what I want to do. I want to give you this one ring, and see if you can make better use of it than me. I will, however, activate it before I pass it over. <laughs> I, I will. It's true. <laughs> I will. Hmm. Hmm. 
Then I'm not sure precisely. Like, I know that my play involves playing this. Because now I can't be killed. Yeah. Keep seven cards. Oh, it's now asking me to keep cards instead of discard. This is much better than it used to be. <laughs> yeah, when it would be like discard 25 cards. You'd be like trying to... But it, that's how it goes. was. Yeah. That's how it used to be. I didn't know they Shit. made improvements to that. I cannot be let's, touched. Let's, let's have the pain happen first, I think. We take eight. It does not feel great. I don't like the fact that the ring can protect me from everything. Like, this just seems so wrong. <laughs> There's something fundamentally wrong about that. Yeah, I mean. That effect. Like, it just. It's not like your creature is getting. It's like you just become untouchable as far as you can replay this. Yeah, I mean. May as well draw nine. That's true. Now, I have protection from everything. Like, if it said each opponent loses three life, would I lose life? Because I get, don't get targeted, right? I mean, you should. Yeah, so if you have a way to make me lose life... Wait, if you... If I... No, I can't be dealt damage, so you can't deal combat damage to me. What if you could unprevent it? Let me see here. Deals com is zero combat damage? <laughs> no, right? It isn't, I don't think. Yeah, zero, zero is... Zero shouldn't be... Oh, wait, that's three life I lose from that attack. What the hell? Yeah, oh, no, you have to deal combat damage first. That's true. Yeah, so, like, go ahead and pass. Let's just, let's just see what happens. For science. Right? For science, yep, I all pass. right. Do I do I lose from zero damage? <laughs> no, it doesn't seem like I did. Okay. Are you gonna die to the one ring? Can I just say how just I preferred the fiction of Peter Jackson's trilogy, where uh, the evil people did not win. I'll keep this land. I'll keep this <laughs> land. I'll keep this land. I'll keep this land and this land. And I'll go ahead and keep slip on the ring. And, uh... Slip on the ring! Yeah, you know what? And then probably Samwise the Stouthearted. At least, at least we'll go out with our buddy. Wow. Protection from everything, dude. That seems like a very fair effect. I mean... I bet you the consider during design, is this where we like we reintroduce the idea of restricted cards in the standard? And then they said, nah, let's not do that. And then people played four, the one rings. <laughs> the four so rings. So, how do I do this? Is there any way for me to win? At all? Do I have, like, exile target... Artifact you control? You could draw on, like, early step. Oh my god, is evil going to win? You could, if you, yeah, if you can override it or make me lose seven life with some weird effect. Uh... Nice try, Frodo. See, he didn't want to throw it away. He did or, not. More like Throdo. <laughs> dude. Uh, I'm dude. immune. I'm not I, immune to each effect, though, I don't think. Let Maybe? the record so. show that if that. tomorrow we wake up to a ban and restricted announcement and the one ring is gone, it's because of this stream here. It's because of this stream. It's not because of anything else. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. Nope. Well, Nox, congratulations. It turns out that. Tolkien and Peter had it wrong. Sauron is truly the more powerful. And I can't say I think that's wrong. With eagles, it, things might have turned out differently. <laughs> we could have done what was like functionally what they just should have done like 20 minutes in. 
Ah, so you might have won. You might have won with it eagles. It could have been six hours of just watching Frodo eat meal after meal after meal. I would have watched that shit. All right. Um, well, dude, Knox, thanks so much for joining us. Do you have any words for all the evildoers out there that really look up to and admire you? Yeah, orc, like, if you're gonna play Sauron, don't, like, substitute Sauron with, like, orcish bowmaster. Like, it's not, those are not the same thing. They look the same, maybe, from, like, very far, but, like, Sauron is Sauron. It's just, you know, we, I think we had him in one deck. Very few of them were even yeah. playing Sauron. Um, I will say, so yeah, orcish the, uh, bowmasters and flumph, like, that's... That's busted. Now, I, I will note uh, my final remark before we close out is to remember that I had won the first game with the aggro horse list. True. I lost the third game because Frodo succumbed to the temptation of the ring. Yep. Frankly, so did you. But what would have turned the tide was game two where there was some sort of fake starfish. There was a starfish, but it wasn't a starfish. It was peering into the abyss, which has <laughs> nothing to do with the Lord of the Rings at all. Big shout out to NordVPN. Thanks for sponsoring today's brutal, painful loss. You can go to NordVPN.com to get a big discount off two-year plan and four extra months. Knox, thanks for joining us today. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Stay safe, people. Stay sane. Don't die. Also, I'm going to go stream Mechabellum after this. So if you're interested in hanging out, please hang out. Yeah, bye-bye. Uh, Kaysom, hang up on me at any time. At any time you want.